I'm Stumpy Nubs, and this is my first CNC project. CNC machines are the pinnacle of high-tech woodworking. You design the project on a computer and the machine makes it for you. At least that's what I thought. But I found that there's really a lot more to it than that. It's the software that really makes the CNC machine. You get what you pay for. Inexpensive machines come with no software or really basic stuff, which severely limits what you can create. The software I use for this project is called VCarve, which is a Vetric-based system. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it, neither did I. Let's just say that it's the most popular system for high quality small shop CNC machines because it can do anything from cutting out simple parts to creating high quality carvings. The learning curve can be a little steep, so I started the easy way. I went to their website, I selected a project file, and that way I could try out the machine without spending a lot of time learning the software. The machine I'm using is the CNC Shark HD 3.0. It retails around four grand, which is a little extravagant for some small garage workshops, but still a lot less expensive than many of the other systems in its class. It has a wonderful one inch thick aluminum bed, heavy duty shafts with high quality linear bearings driven by lead screws rather than belts, and it'll handle a two and a quarter horsepower rotor motor for lots of power. There are all sorts of other features like digital bed mapping and a touch plate and scanner attachments, a fourth access lathe attachment, you can even add a water-cooled spindle, and I hear they're making laser engraving and 3D printing attachments too. But for my first project, I just wanted something that would test out its standard woodworking capabilities. The sort of thing that a small shop would use the most. I'm making a clock that was modeled after a turn-of-the-century bellow-styled camera called the Pony Primo. They were made by the Rochester Optical Company beginning in 1896, and then continued on by Kodak until I think about 1907. It's one of the first truly portable cameras. The idea is to make a wooden version with a little clock to replace the lens in the center. This is a great first project because it forced me to explore what a CNC machine can do beyond just carving letters into a sign. I had to cut out actual project parts, some of them with 3D profiles. One thing I hate about CNC machining is the mess that it makes. So I bought an adapter for my CNC Shark that allows me to attach a shop vac. It doesn't suck up everything, but at least it keeps what doesn't get sucked on top of the project rather than spraying it all over the shop. The only problem is you can't see the bit carving up the material, which is what everyone wants to see when they watch a CNC video, right? So I took it off for some of the footage. You're welcome. The camera bellows have to be machined on two sides. This is a process I never really considered doing with CNC, but now that I know how to do it, I'm telling you, it opens up a lot more possibilities moving forward. A couple of holes are designed right into the project that pass through the workpiece and into the backer board beneath. That way I can use dowels as alignment pins when I flip the piece over to machine the back side. This is one of the reasons that I used an MDF wasteboard rather than simply clamping the workpiece right to the aluminum bed of the machine. Another feature I learned to use is the tile cutting process. This allows you to cut a workpiece that's larger than the 25 by 25 inch capacity of the machine. All you had to do was tell the software to divide my project into two sections. I cut one part and then I slide the workpiece down the bed to cut the rest. In the process, I learned that you can cut virtually any size workpiece you're willing to cut up into two foot by two foot panels. That's one of the nice features of the Vetric software that comes with the CNC of Shark. It does all that figuring for you. I'm machining clear pine that I bought at a home center. It's a beautiful material. The softwood cut very easily. I didn't notice any bogging down, even on the more aggressive cuts. Of course, that's one of the benefits of a machine with a powerful router as opposed to a little spindle. And the heavy duty rails and the lead screws didn't deflect at all. I'm confident that I could have made this project out of any kind of hardwood without any problems. Cutting out project parts on a CNC machine is an entirely new process for the average woodworker. My normal workflow is to cut out my parts a few at a time as I assemble the project. That way I can take measurements off the project itself as I go along and I can account for any errors as I custom cut every part for the project. But with a CNC machine, you cut everything to precise dimensions all at once. 
That means waiting for the machine to do its thing, which can be a little bit boring. I suppose I could have planned ahead so I had something else to do while the machine was working, but like I said, this is my first project. In the end, I had something that reminded me of the model airplanes I used to build when I was a kid, without that nice glue to sniff. You punch your parts out and you remove the little tabs that were left behind. I actually had to do quite a bit of cleanup with chisels and a sanding block, but that's because I wasn't as careful as I should have been when I set the machine up. So the bit didn't always cut all the way through the three quarter inch thick material. The Shark has a touch plate accessory to eliminate those errors, but I didn't use them, and so I paid the price later. Otherwise, I was really impressed with the way it performed. I got to see how it handled some simple 3D carving, how it cut out fairly complex project parts, two-sided machining, and tiled cutting. Not bad for my first project. Of course I know that the CNC Shark will do a lot more than this, and we'll be making some more projects in the near future. But this camera style clock was enough to show me that a CNC machine like this can do a lot more than just carve signs. If you use your imagination, you can do some really unique things that would be very difficult if not impossible for most people to do with traditional woodworking machines. As these become more popular for small shop woodworkers, I think that we're going to see some amazing things created with them. If you'd like to build this particular project, and you have a CNC like the CNC Shark that uses Vetric software, you can download the files and the instructions for free at the link in the notes below. If you'd like to learn more about the CNC Shark, I put links to that in the show notes as well, and a link to a comprehensive article I wrote comparing the CNC Shark HD3 to the X-Carve, which is another machine I've heard a lot about. If you'd like to enjoy the best in woodworking tips, tricks, and entertainment, including all sorts of homemade woodworking machines and other unique projects, check out our website over at StumpyNubs.com. Thanks for watching.